We are going over solving one-step inequalities, specifically with addition and subtraction. My learning target is I can write and solve one-step inequalities for real-world situations, and I can prove if, if an inequality statement is true. So when we are solving one-step inequalities, we are going to write the inequality and identify the variable. And then the goal is to isolate the variable just like we would with an equation. To isolate the variable, you need to do the inverse operation, which is the opposite operation. And then whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. And then you also need to make sure you graph and check. Actually, I'm going to switch that to check and then graph your answer because you want to check before you graph. And it's um, important to remember the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. And the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. All right, let's do some examples. So I'm going to rewrite this because I want my x to be on the left side. You don't have to do this. But when you do this, make sure that the open part of the inequality symbol is staying the same direction. So in this case, it is open towards x minus 16. Make sure it's still open by x minus 16. So I'm going to add 16 to both sides. So this will be 48. So x is greater than 48. I'm going to check my answer. So I'm going to pick a number that is greater than 48. So let's just pick 49. So 32 is less than 49 minus 16. And it can be any number greater than 48, but I'm just picking 49. So 49 minus 16 is 33 so is it true that 32 is less than 33 it is true and then i'm going to graph my inequality so i have an open circle and then x is greater than 49 so that arrow goes to the numbers greater than 49. All right, example number two, x minus 45 is less than negative 132. I'm going to add 45 on both sides. I have different signs, so I'm going to subtract them and take the sign of the greater absolute value. So this looks like 87, so x is less than negative 87. So I need to pick a number that is less than negative 87. I'm just going to do negative 100 because that's an easy number. So negative 100 minus 45 is less than negative 132. Keep change change. This is negative 145 is less than negative 132. This is true. So that means my solution is correct. And then I have an open circle, and then it's going to be anything less than negative 87. All right, is x equals 3 the solution for 5 plus x? is less than or equal to eight or a solution. So we are going to plug that in. Is the statement eight is less than or equal to eight true? Yes, it is. I'm going to change this to
a solution can it because there can be multiple answers I'm going to do that here too if it was an equation the solution would be accurate but we need to put is it a solution so is x minus 12 a solution for x minus 15 is greater than negative 1 so we are going to plug that in 12 minus 15 is greater than negative 1 keep change change 15 minus 12 is 3 and then we take the sign of the greater absolute value is negative 3 greater than negative 1 no this is false All right, let's do a couple more practice problems. So I'm gonna rewrite this. And then keep change, change, so I'm gonna subtract 14 on both sides. Keep change, change, I'm gonna add these. And then it's a negative, so x is less than negative 98. So I'm going to pick negative 100 to check that. So negative 84 is greater than negative 100 minus negative 14. Keep change, change. So 100 minus 14 is negative 86 so is this true it is true and then I need to graph it open circle and then this direction All right, I'm going to subtract 78 from both sides. Keep change, change. This is negative 90, so x is less than negative 90. I'm going to use negative 100 to check this. So 78 plus negative 100 is less than negative 12. So 100 minus 78. So is negative 22 less than negative 12? Yes, that is true. And then we are going to graph it. Open circle and then towards anything less than negative 90. Number three, we're going to subtract 27 from both sides. Keep change, change. You're going to subtract these. So this is negative 18. So x 18, I'm sorry, negative 18 is less than or greater than, less than or equal to x. I'm going to rewrite this because it just helps me visualize it more. So I need to pick a number greater than negative 18. So I'm just going to pick 0. So 9 is less than or equal to 0 plus 27. 9 is less than or equal to 27. That is true. And we need a closed circle this time. And towards the direction of anything greater. All right, ooh, we got a decimal here. I'm going to subtract 3.35. So x is less than or equal to 1.65. We've got to check this. I'm just going to use 0. 
So 0 plus 3.35, is that less than or equal to 5? Yes, that is true. Then we are going to graph it. All right, number five, last one, word problem. It says Addison wants to buy a new phone. She made $120 babysitting. The phone she wants costs $375. At least how much more money does she need to make? So 120 plus whatever she has to make it needs to be at least greater than or equal to the cost of the phone. I'm going to subtract 120 on both sides. So she needs to make greater than or equal to 255. I'm just going to use 300 because that's greater than. So 120 plus 300 is that greater than or equal to 375. 420 is equal to or greater than or equal to 375 so that is true and we are going to graph it Close circle and then anything greater than or equal to. Thanks for watching.